This is Brigitte. Is there anybody on the line? Hi, my name is Dave. I work in real estate. What do you do? Is this the same Debbie from last night? Why don't we get together at my place for a party? If you believe the ads, life's a party. And party lines are the newest, hottest way to meet the love of your life. The New York Party Connection. Only 95 cents a minute. Call now and get in on the fun. The ads promise to let you in on the good times, even if you're shy. I feel awkward. I've never met people this way before. I know what you mean. I've tried the personal columns, and I'm tired of bars. They offer the chance of romance. A dream date your friends will envy, even if they think you've lost your head. Well, what's he look like? I don't know. I've spoken to him five or six times through the line, but I don't know what he looks like. He sounds great. You're crazy. As unintentionally funny as these ads may be, there have been problems for party line lovers. Kids have run up phone bills in the thousands. And though the ads suggest a fairy tale date, as these headlines say, it could turn out to be a horror story. Now, the experiences of Tony Fleming and Lester Aldis were nightmares. They were far from finding a great social life, what they experienced. Both Tony and Lester are from Chicago. We welcome them. They have had a tough time with party lines. Tony, how tough has it been for you? How much did you spend? Um, close to $2,500 before it was banned from my line. Then I three-wayed with him, so he paid for it. <laughs> did you guys meet over the phone? Yeah. Yes. I understand it led to some pretty drastic side effects in your life. Um, which includes a uh, phone bill $6,100 and even being shot at uh, from an irate uh, caller. How'd you get into it, Tony? Let's start here. Well, uh, I was home one night. Uh, it was pretty late in the evening, probably 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And there wasn't much to watch on television. And there wasn't much to do any, anywhere else, so uh, I started sitting there and I was thinking, and all of a sudden I heard a little jingle going through my, in my head, and it was uh, one of the local 900 numbers. And I was like, what is this? So I picked up the phone and I dialed, and it was, it was bizarre. There was people that I never even heard of coming from towns I never heard of. Uh, it was just, it was bizarre talking to so many people at one time. Uh, we ended up becoming disconnected because they were testing out the lines. I called up my friend immediately, and I said, I said, you got to try this out. He ended up becoming addicted as well. What it was is that I would uh, begin talking with someone, I'd find them interesting, and then I would become disconnected because you weren't allowed to meet anybody on the line that I was calling. No n phone numbers, no last names, uh, nothing. And so you so would, a monitor would cut you out. Right, and you would that try was that to... That ebony person I was talking to. Yeah, but see, uh, where I come from, they call them Ricks and Lucys. All the guys are Ricks, all the ladies are Lucys. The monitors. Right. So they listen in on your conversation. Right, but, you know, you try to figure out ways to get around, you know, license plates that represent phone numbers, you know, uh, prices of things that represent phone numbers. You know, there's, there's a lot of ways that they Why develop. do you figure you became addicted? Are you a lonely person? Not, no, I wasn't at all. I became a lonely person because of the line, because I, I lost all my friends. All the friends that I had, I ended up leaving and abandoning to fall into this group of people that called. But why, Tony? I mean, if you understand what you were doing, why didn't you just stop calling? It, it's hard to say. It really is. I, I found out later, and, and it, it, it took a lot for me to understand exactly what was going on. I talk to these people, and uh, after time, after talking to so many of them, you start to develop an emotional dependency with them. You know, you feel bad for them, you want to help them, as well as uh, having them help you with certain problems. And you feel uh, a lot of the people that you talk to, uh, I've had people that uh, actually claim uh, to go suicidal if they wouldn't talk to you again. I, I, my phone, by the time that I was coming to the end of my uh, calling, my phone would ring 24 hours a day, non-stop. Okay, I had call waiting. I would uh, go from one call to the next. Hello? Okay, uh, just a minute. I'd go back to the other line. I got to go. I had another call constantly, constantly. Aside from your phone bill, what was the effect of all that, that manic calling on the rest of your life? Uh, <laughs> it, was, uh, it wasn't so bad with the calling. It was when I started to meet the people that things started to get bad. Uh, there, it, just For just as much good there was, there was probably twice as much bad. Just like he said he was shot at, he was uh, beat well, up. He'll tell time. his story, you and, tell yours. Okay. Well, uh, my apartment that I had lived in was trashed at one point. How so? Uh, I threw a party to, for, uh, for the people from the line that I called, 
And uh, but you'd never seen these people before. Well, I had met them at other occasions, okay, but it was at public places and they were scattered out. And I only invited a select few. So but you're on the party line, you say, hey, gang, come no, on. No, 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 no. By this time, I had their home phone numbers. Oh, I see. But they would get on the party line, certain ones, and they would announce it. And I would have people show up that I didn't even know. I had one gentleman, uh, I shouldn't even call him a gentleman, he walked into my house, walked into my bedroom, and kicked a hole in my wall that was about three and a half feet high by two feet wide. And I, I went crazy. I said, what, what are you doing? Why did you do this to me? I was in shock. And he said, well, somebody did it to my house. <laughs> you know. <laughs> How'd you get out of phoning? Um, you well, there, phone caller is anonymous or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> I wish there was. They need it. They do. Uh, there was uh, two young ladies who uh, helped me out of it. They uh, got me uh, involved with other things in my life, got me back to working and stuff like that. And you met him over the phone? Over the phone, were yeah. Were you one of the people that went to his apartment and helped trash it? I didn't trash it, but, uh... You were there? I was there, yeah. I witnessed it. You say someone shot at you? Somebody shot at me. It was a big misunderstanding. He I'll thought... Say, I, it sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I tried to get him arrested on rape charges, and... This there was, was the person you met over the phone? Yes, yes. Oh, well, save the rest of the story. Let's take our first commercial break, and then you can explain how rape and gunshots and all these things stem from telephone conversations, because it's a mystery to me. We'll be right back. Take Vaughn's everyday low prices, more buys, and unlimited double coupons, plus Vaughn's famous hot weekly specials, like family size bold laundry detergent, just $5.99. A 21-ounce can of Comet Cleanser, only 69 cents. And an 8-ounce jar of Folgers Instant Coffee, just $3.69. And you'll see why Vaughn's gives you the lowest take total in town. To nobody else but Vaughn's. I want you to show me how you dance. The best American play of the 80s raised Time Magazine, Neil Simon's Broadway Bound. Made up of moments like the scene in Act Two, when a mother and son begin to dance. The son awkward with delight, the mother suddenly, miraculously young all over again. But the moment is not here on television. It only happens when it's live. It's the moment when the audience dances to Broadway Bound. At the Almondson Theater through July 3rd only, call Teletron, 213-410-1062. Coming Monday on Geraldo. From the Kentucky bus crash to the Illinois classroom shooting. Healing children from tragedy on the next Geraldo. Geraldo, Monday at 4 on the one and only 2. The California primary. On Monday, Channel 2 Action News will preview all the major candidates and the important issues. The primary preview, Monday at 7.30 on Channel 2 Action News. Southern California's real news leader. If you're an accident victim, you may need legal help. I'm James Gillen, an attorney who has won millions of dollars in awards for accident victims. If you're injured and are wondering, how are you going to be paid for your medical care, car expenses, and lost wages? Call now for a free consultation. Call and let me help you. For a free consultation, call James Gillen, 827-2001, and receive a free brochure on how to protect your rights if you're an accident victim. Party line, horror stories, uh, is are our focus. Lester, how did you get into party line calling? How I got into party line? I was sitting at home one let night. Me, let like me just him. ask a question. Carlos, take a wide shot of the audience. I want, how many of you, yeah, you indicate by applause, have heard or seen the advertisements for these party lines on TV? Let's see. <laughs> how many of you, in, again by applause, have been curious enough to call one of the party lines. <laughs> Why'd you do it? Well, I'm, I'm actually from Dial Communications, which has one of the party lines. Uh, uh, you're a plant. Let me get a civilian. <laughs> uh, who's a civilian here? Is cool. Okay, here. Why? Well, one night I was coming home from work, and um, the the commercial looked fun, and I was with a bunch of friends, and we called, and it was fun. It was a lot of fun. You just talk to other people. 
Like you said, you find out about um, people from different towns that you never heard of, what's going on in the city, and then you all meet, and it's nice. Did you meet the people on the telephone? Yes, I did. I met a few. I met people. Didn't you think that was dangerous? Not in a public place. It's dangerous going to a bar and, and seeing the same strange people. How did the faces match up with the voices? Um, not all of them were the same, but, you know, as good as they sounded, but that's any blind date is the same thing. So you figure it was just a way to get a blind date? Exactly. Well, you're hanging out <laughs> yeah. with a bunch of people, whether you meet them in a bar. How much did you spend on the calls? Um, I would say maybe $200 a month. A month? How many months? Uh, since, I'd say the past two months. So you, you like this as a social alternative, then? It's nice. Uh, it's uh, expensive, though. It's expensive, but I feel that the people that can afford it stay on at least the line that I call. Uh, you call the rich line. Right. All right, the agent. <laughs> now, Lester, you call the poor line, huh? <laughs> well, it's the cheapest one in Chicago, the one I usually call. All right, how'd you go from uh, that lady's relatively normal involvement to what became an obsession? I would call when I first started about maybe once a day for about a half an hour a day. And then after that I started hearing about parties and all the good times that people were having and I said, hey, I could be doing this too. And so I uh, started calling more, find out about more parties and what have you. Going to parties every weekend, three days a week, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, doesn't, didn't matter, morning, night. And then it just turned into a nightmare after that. Yeah, oh, yeah, specifically. Um, well, one case in point was... I knew a guy, Bob. He was calling the line. I had never met him. <clears throat> rumors were going on the line that he had raped a 13-year-old girl. I had nothing to do with these rumors. People told him I did. He was having a party at his house. This was the first night that I had ever met him. And he came up to me and said, well, I'm going to kill you for saying things like that. And I said, Bob, I had no, no part in this whatsoever. And so, Would people gossip about this guy on the line? The one thing, oh. that girl was a caller on the line as yeah. well. Yeah. The girl he had raped? Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly, yes. We never heard the, the end. The girl, know. the person had allegedly raped a 13-year-old girl? Right, and her parents were the ones pressing charges against him. Yeah, but uh, he told me to get out of his house. I was walking down the street. He comes out of his house with a gun, shoots off one round at me. I said, hey, what's going on here, man? I guess he was drunk. I don't know what was wrong with him, maybe on drugs, I don't know. But it all turned into a nightmare. I, I don't know, $6,100 phone bills. And I mean, I still call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't say why. It's very addicting. It's like cocaine or alcohol. That's how I see it. I think it would be easier, honestly, exactly. to quit smoking than to quit calling the line. I think so. I really do. Will and you... A lonely person. Was I a lonely person? Um, I think so. I think that might have been part of why I first started calling. Um, I couldn't get along well with people in person until I started calling this line. I was very shy. And, but after I started calling the line and talking to many different kinds of people, it all started to click in. And now it's like... How'd you know. run up a $6,100 phone bill? Being on the phone 20 hours a day. <laughs> What's the rate a minute? Uh, it's 20 cents for the first minute and 8 cents for each additional. In, in the Chicago line. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I now think the, the reason that wait, line well, is I so think cheap. the line uh, that I was on the phone with, uh, is the line still on, my party line that was on at the top of the program? Maggie, are you still there? Ebony? Yes. Uh, how much is your line? How much is my line? Uh, it's 95 cents for every minute after. Now, would any of you like to comment on the horror stories we've heard from Tony and Lester here? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Is that Revolvo on the phone? Yeah, Revolvo's on the phone, right. I think you're on the party line because you don't know how to spell, but go ahead. What's up? I'm here. We're saying hello. Uh, hello, what's the hello? You're on television. What's your comment on these horror stories? we got to cut this noise down. Three. Barbara? Two. All right, all right. Have fun, kids. Have fun. Yeah, they talk about themselves. Well, we'll bring them back. We'll bring them back later. Maybe we can sort out something. Whose phone was it? Yours or your parents? My mom's. It was... Her phone. It was more than one, wasn't it? Didn't you call um, from other numbers too? Yeah, at friends' houses and so forth. You're a teenager? Yeah, 18. And when did you start? How old were you? Uh, 17, last year. And you're you're in your parents' house. You picked it up. You're, now, didn't your your mom say to you, "Hey, uh, 
Lester, my boy. It was more uh, of... You're, uh, <laughs> you're heating up my bills a little too much. Here. It was more of after we got the first bill for 1300 she said, okay, well, not, we're not going to pay this. She goes, if you want to pay it, go out, get a job, and pay it. But she said, if it gets disconnected, it gets disconnected. So I said, hey, she's not going to yell at me for using it, so I ran up a $6,100 <laughs> phone bill on it. And, uh, <laughs> because your mother said she wasn't going to pay it, if you wanted to pay it, pay it, you said, hey. It was my responsibility. Uh-huh, and, and you have uh, no sense He's of being sued right now. Yeah, by the phone effect. company because for $4,800 because I didn't pay it. And, uh, Did you ever pay the phone bill? I paid the first 1300 of it, yeah, the first bill. Did you ever feel that you were responsible? I mean, you are 18 now, that you mm. were responsible to pay that phone bill? You didn't make the calls. I felt as though, well, if it's going to get disconnected, it's going to get disconnected. Let me, let me run up the bill, you know? Who cares? Who's the one being sued now? You or your parents? My mother. And you're not taking any... Are you helping her out with any of this, like, the uh, legal things? Well, when it comes down, if it comes down to uh, a suit or a court case... Uh, I'm the one that called, so I'm the one going to be held responsible. Are you still calling? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's got, Lester's got a couple of problems. Yeah. Uh, okay, listen, we're going to take a break. We're going to bring out uh, some spokesmen for these, uh, these dial-it services. We're going to bring out one of the monitors, the people who monitor, and someone who says they may have a solution to prevent horror stories like Tony and Lester. Let's take this break. For the special occasions in your life, and the everyday ones, Baskin Robbins will make a very special ice cream cake just for you. Baskin Robbins, the heart of any celebration. Northern bathroom tissue has a special kind of softness, because it's quilted. And you can feel the difference quilting makes. Northern, quilted for a special kind of softness. This is the perfect second camera, Fuji Quick Snap. Quick Snap comes preloaded with 35 millimeter Fuji Super HR film. I take Quick Snap everywhere I wouldn't take my expensive camera, like the beach. Hey, kids! After 24 pictures, I take the whole thing to where I have pictures made. Then I buy another Quick Snap and take it hiking. Then I buy another Quick Snap and take it boating. Smile! Fuji Quick Snap, the perfect second camera, and third, and fourth, and fifth. For free tickets to Geraldo, please write Geraldo, Times Square Post Office, Box 684, New York, New York, 10108. Please send a self-addressed stamped envelope or call 212-265-1283. You know, for years, you've been hearing that here at Public Insurance, it's no problem. But that's not just a slogan. They really mean it. And if you've had trouble getting insurance because of tickets, an accident, or no prior insurance, it's no problem. If you'd like to charge your down payment, it's no problem. And if spreading your payments over 12 months would make life easier, it's no problem. Call now for a quote at 1-800-345-1995. Any day till 9 p.m. At Public Insurance, it really is no problem. There's something wrong with Steve. Steve, let us in. Come on, Steve, right now. Oh, Steve. If your son or daughter has a problem with drugs or alcohol, don't wait for it to go away. It won't. At Charter, we understand and we can help. Call Charter Hospitals at 1-800-262-9389. There's a war going on out there on our streets. Death and human destruction. Drug abuse and gang violence feeding on one another. Law enforcement is the first line of defense and law enforcement needs support. When we needed more personnel for our gang and drug units, Supervisor Antonovich responded. We'll win that war, but we can't do it alone. We've always had the full support of Mike Antonovich. We count on Mike. He's tough. Mike Antonovich. Keep him on the job. Don't give me that so so soda, the same old cola. I want a rock and roller, I want a pie, high, high. I want a shasta, shasta. I want a taste for that. All the great taste, shasta head. I want a pie, high, high. I want a shasta, shasta. I want a thrill, I want a wow. This is all I wanted now. I want a pie, high, high. I want a shasta. 
Okay, we're back. Uh, party line, horror stories. Come on, stand. Now, do you remember the old party lines? I certainly do. Oh, tell me how it worked. Okay, we had a, a telephone and we had four people on the line, and maybe even five or six, according to how much you would pay. And we lived in a little tiny town yeah. in Tinton Falls, New Jersey. And um, we were all new there, and there was a lot of hanky panky going on. <laughs> and all you had to do was just play paint and play, pick up the telephone. And so after a while, it all ended because there were no more party lines. All right, you miss them? I didn't use it so much. I listened. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old, the old, uh, the G-rated party line. Now, have you called uh, these? Yes, I did. Uh, now, why? Well, I was home one night. I had come home and I had a couple of drinks, and um, <laughs> it seemed like the thing to do. And on television, I, first I was listening to the radio, and on uh, one of the radio stations, they were uh, describing one of them, and I said, "Well, let me try it." And I tried that, and that was the sole party line. And then I tried another one, which seemed to be a different type of party line, and. It was fun. I had a good time, except the bill wasn't too much fun afterward. How much was the bill? It was only one day that I was on for about three or four hours, and it came out to over two hundred dollars for a day. Yeah, you should you should have gone out to Le Cirque or a great restaurant. <laughs> How about you? How many times? About three. And why'd you do it? Because I was home with my sister, and we were bored, so we just picked up the phone. We heard the number on the radio. Can I ask how old you are? Eighteen. And were you eighteen when you called? Yes. And what'd your mama say? We didn't get the bill yet. Oh. <laughs> Hope she's not watching. <laughs> Have you done it? Yeah, once I called. I was at what? Work. I was at work and I had nothing better to do. My boss was away, so I called. <laughs> I wonder if he's uh, away now. But uh, who, which one? Um, the. Um, I mean, did it have a specialty or who'd you speak with? Uh, there weren't too many people on the phone. There was just one guy saying hello, hello. <laughs> So I was just listening, you know, to him saying hello. <laughs> that sounds exciting, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a phone bill on you, Tony? Yeah. Now, let me see. My book? Wait, wait. There we go. That's one. That's one. No. Oh, isn't this fun? Here we are. Take um, a look. Can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> that's an amazing that's, situation. Now, what's the bottom line? Or does that's a, one? That one, I think, is 1100 Oh, terrific. Did you pay your bill? Some of it. I'm st still working on it. And Do I you work? It. Do you have a job? Yeah. I, I'm an EMT for a private ambulance uh -huh. company. So you, uh, you work hard to pay for this, yeah. your habit. No, not anymore. No. <laughs> Let's meet Laurel Rose. She's a monitor trainer for National Infotel. That's located in Florida. Now, she has worked as a monitor. You know, that's one of the people who directs the party lines. And now she trains other monitors. Uh, the people who listen to the conversations, they set the guidelines for the discussion, and they can switch callers from one group to another. Leslie Shower from Lincoln, Nebraska, has formed a group called Parents Against Phone Theft. She feels that... There ought to be a way to restrict these lines from coming into a house if parents don't want the risk of their children. Children like Lester, and he is, uh, you know, he may be 18, but he certainly has acted like a kid and run up uh, an incredibly yeah. large bill. Now, Laurel, as a monitor, how come you didn't, or the monitors in Lester's case, didn't spot that he was a kid out of control? I can't speak for anybody else. How do um, you do it? What I do, we go through a, a relatively deep screening process from what I understand. We have people, applicants come in, we look for people with customer service experience, telemarketing experience, responsible people. Uh, they go through a training process, it can last anywhere from a week to three weeks, where they're monitored by a supervisor or me, or both. Um, we give them guidelines to follow, um, standard type of questions to ask, th when to disconnect a caller, when to try to steer the conversation away from certain subjects. Leslie, you buy that? Are they that well-trained, these monitors? If so, how come the horror stories? Didn't you have a horror story in your family? Yes. What happened? Uh, I started all of this because of my brother. And he started out normal, you know, like the other people said, like one or $200 a month. And then it got worse, and it got worse, and it got worse. And um, it ended up, the most recent bill was 941 And uh, then the next bill was 1125 and everybody says, well, wh what did your parents do to the kid? And everybody says, people who don't know about the abuse 
say, well, you know, you ground the kid, you punish the kid and stop it. You take the phone out of his room. But that does not stop the abuse. It's much more complicated than that. Lester, would it have stopped you if your parents just oh, took no. your phone away? I used to sit at home at nights and work on telephones just to get them in working order so I could, uh, because my mom used to take the phone to work with her. And, uh, <laughs> so I used to stay up all night trying to fix old phones just to, uh, call the line. Just, uh, you know, it, it really does remind me of a junkie trying to get enough dope to shoot up. I mean, it really just frantically, you know, going through the glassine envelopes to find enough, uh, little scraps of dope to shoot up. I mean, it's, it sounds so pathetic. What about her claim? What about Laurel's claim that the monitors are so well trained that they can spot a kid out of control? I'd like to know where they are because I've never heard of a monitor. And if they are monitors, they must be teenagers or people who sound young so they can get in on the conversation. But none of the calls that my brother or any of the people who've talked to me have ever said, if there was a monitor, they would have cut the kid off, you know, after a couple hours. I've got parents who said their kids were on the phone like nine hours straight. If there was a monitor, they would have heard this kid talking so long. Nine hours straight. Yeah. From 20 cents to 95 cents a minute. Nine hours straight. There's somebody right now in Chicago calling the line that we call. That he's known as Marathon Man, and he's going for a week straight. And they're all behind them. All the moderators, they're, hey, Now, do you're it. talking about kids here that are on these phones for hours. Where are the parents? At work. When these kids at work at for work. nine when hours? Home? Where yep. was your mom when your brother was doing this? My brother would stay up and wait till that lady would pass out and go to sleep. Yeah. I mean, she would sit there and she would stay up trying to outstay him. She would stay up hoping he'd fall asleep so she could go to sleep. And she'd still get up at 5 o'clock and go to work in the morning. She'd take her phone with. His friends would bring phones in. <laughs> She'd take the phones out, they'd bring, they'd bring phones over. I mean, then when they spent the night, he had no phone in his room, they were hiding phones in their duffel bags and bringing them in and everything. And she's supposed to ask a 16-year-old kid, can I look through your duffel bag, you know? You know. Imagine searching kids for telephones? <laughs> this is really incredible. We'll be right back. I'm Jose Sanders. Coming up on Action News at 5.30, President Reagan and the First Lady return home to a hero's welcome. The President said he made real progress during his trip to Moscow and will always remember the Russian people. Plus, are politics keeping life-saving drugs from dying AIDS patients? Harvey Levin will have details. And lotto frenzy bills and people rush for a chance to win tomorrow's record $40 million jackpot. We'll have those stories. Mac with a weekend forecast. Jim Lampley with all the sports coming up at 5.30 on Action News. After... This man has agreed to demonstrate how refreshing Irish Spring is. Oh, there's something about Irish Spring. Oh, yes, it makes me want to sing. It's the most refreshing thing to sing to Irish Spring. With conditioners for my skin. The lather makes me feel like a king and a boss. If this much refreshment sounds good to you, try Irish Spring and bring more shower to your shower. Irish Spring. Suits. Sail with bullocks, right? No, no sail. CNR. No sail. <laughs> Must have cost a bundle. Well, not really. CNR's everyday prices are usually lower than department store sale prices. And uh, CNR never charges for uh, normal alterations. Not even on sale items. Unlike bullocks. CNR. That's all it costs. Nice suit. CNR. No one will ever know you bought your shoes at an expensive store unless you go out of your way to show them. Wouldn't it be better to buy them for less at standard shoes? These open-toed espadrilles are $21.95 at Nordstrom. That's 33% more than the ones from standard shoes. And the canvas espadrilles from Nordstrom are a whopping 51% more than the ones from standard shoes. Pretty expensive shoe boxes, huh? Standard shoes. The competition made us do it. More people buy furniture at Levitt's than any other furniture store in the world. Let's ask why. One store was going to make us wait uh, two months for delivery. Levitt's is going to deliver next week. Levitt's has the best prices. It's that simple. For example, only $399 buys your choice of three beautiful Stratford sofas during Levitt's big home sale. Only $399 now at the Levitt's near you. You'll love it.
If you have a pool or jacuzzi in your yard, put a fence around it. And even if your child can swim, learn to perform CPR. Jesse? Jesse? Jesse! Save a child's life. Yeah, Tony, I just want to know what the seduction is of this phone line business. What draws you to spend so much money? Um, it's somewhat like he, what he was saying earlier as far as a cocaine addiction. As far as it's concerned here, I would look at it more as an, um, uh, an emotional addiction that you'd have. Does it all come back around to a sexual conversation, though? It That's could. A good point. Is it all <laughs> basically sexual? When, Not all, when all, all is said and done, cut away the bull now. All right, so my nickname... Is this a lonely let me tell you, deal? My nickname that I was given was Paramore, okay? And that's French. You sure you didn't choose this yourself? Now? No, I didn't. I didn't I didn't at all. And what it means is an illicit lover. And I'll tell you, it, it can very much turn into that. There's a lot of lonely people, a lot of single people, and there's also a lot of married people that are lonely that call these lines. Okay? What about you? <laughs> As far as what respect, as far as it leading into a uh, relationship? About really, the, the fact that it was really uh, uh, lust that you were afraid to express in real life, that it was some, some no, because latent sexual... No, as far as it was a uh, new experience, as far as anything uh, sexually or anything, it was, it was a blind... You getting off on this? Different. No, no, not, not like that. Not phone, off the phone, like phone sex or anything like that, no. Yeah, excitement this year. Jim Neusis is the vice president of marketing for Media 4. His company leases lines and bills customers through their local phone companies. Robert Kantner is vice president of... Kantner. Kantner. Kantner, sorry. sorry. Robert Kantner is vice president of advertising for Tempest 976. Uh, his company does advertising for companies that operate these lines. Robert Kantner and Jim Neusis. Now, Jim... Very distressing stories. I mean, you yes, may get is. a giggle out of them, you know, once or twice, but mm -hmm. this is pure pathos here. This is pathetic. Mm -hmm. What is your company doing? Let me ask you this. Sure. Do you take any responsibility for these abuses? For the pain and suffering and financial setback that Lester's mother is suffering right now? Well, we're sorry to hear that Lester's mother and Lester have been into the situation. We deal with these things on a individual case basis uh, when they come to our attention. We do not advocate the, the uh, use of minors on, the, on these services. Uh, the services that my company represents are um, a variety of services, not only the GAB services that, that Lester was involved in, but also some of the information services, uh, sports line, horoscope line, that type of, that type of thing. We're dealing we, with these GAB lines, okay. these, uh, these gossipy you know, mm -hmm. uh, party line things now. What are you doing to stop kids like Lester from financially ruining their families? We're doing a couple of different things. Our company is, has, since the first day that we've offered service, and we're in four markets right now, but since the first day that we offered service, we have the ability to block unauthorized use of those services. And we but do how do you block do that? Them. How can you tell well, we've 15 set, year old from a 25 year old. Well, we've set up on some of the, I would assume that he's talking about one of the young adult lines, and we've set up some policies, internal policies, that when a bill reaches $100 on one of those young adult lines, we cut that, that telephone number off, and they cannot use that service for up to a four week period. Um, at that time, the service is turned back on. For the adult GAB lines, we have set, um, for our services only, uh, a limit of $300. For the adult cab lines so they can't use the service once it goes our services once it goes over a hundred dollars leslie what do you feel well um, as far as the adult lines if they were truly adult lines i wouldn't have complaints and there wouldn't be all these complaints coming from parents of minor kids but the commercials that i have seen are not orientated towards an adult they're orientated towards kids and teenagers i mean they're rock and roll and they got these guys all dressed up you know with the punk hair and they're saying call me now why aren't you calling me right now and uh you know there, there were show teenagers sitting there screaming and yelling all this stuff now robert you're doing the advertising aren't you we're doing the advertising aren't you targeting those kids we're targeting anyone that's adult enough and responsible enough 
to use the service and not abuse it like anything else you'd abuse. We for saw, example, if you had, for oh, example, if you had a cocaine addiction, you would seek help. Why are you still calling the lines if they, if, if you're getting these enormous phone bills? I mean, you're more than adult enough to not be able to do well, that. You, you simply there. stop. Off. I'm not calling any longer, okay, uh, so I can't answer that okay, as then well. Okay, then right, the problem answer, is now right. solved then. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's too easy. Yeah. Less do you answer. It's... I don't think I have a reason for it. It's just like you ask a person who's addicted to cocaine why they do it, because it's there and because they want to do it. Well, Don't we, you have any responsibility, Robert? Well, yes, we do, and we, we take care of that responsibility. When we produce a television commercial, if you look at the end of the commercial, you'll see what's known as a disclaimer. Oh. The disclaimer tells you how much the call is going to cost you. It tells you that you need to be over 18 if that's the kind of Lester, line that it is. Lester, did you ever see is. the disclaimer on the end of the ad? No. Even if you did, would it have changed your mind? Who did? No, you did. Did you stop calling? No, I never... Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Thank you. you. You like that disclaimer, though? It's, it's all right, but I never call because my mother would kill me if I called that party line. <laughs> well, see, I think I'm... your parents have to be strict in order to, they have to instill responsibilities into you. Because if your mother was always strict with you, you oh, would oh. not be calling no party line. My mother would kill me. Does it run in specific areas or is it state? We run out advertising state? after oh, 10 o'clock oh. in the evening. I'm sorry, Jim. Are they going to parties in their immediate area, or are they it's, stay? It's, it's specifically up to the adult, whoever happens to be on the line. I will say that party lines are providing New Yorkers here and around the country with an opportunity to meet other adults, to qualify those adults, to talk to them, to get to know them, to go out and have a cup of coffee, to go out to a movie, rather than meeting someone in a club. And, and it's a very viable entertainment source for these people. I have a question. Lester, if your mother saw the first phone bill and realized that there was this trouble, I know my mother, I'd be dead. I mean, like, I can't understand how she let it keep going, how they didn't turn the phones off. But like he explained how, what, what lengths they went to. Leslie was explaining that kids were sneaking phones into that. They were hooked. They should have taken the phones totally out. And uh -huh. It's not that easy. It's I mean, not people that, easy. That have had, people, people that have had their phones disconnected are uh, turned off, have gone to their workplaces and called so extensively from work that they've lost their jobs. This has happened well, repeatedly. We have we'll take a time out. We'll be right back. Okay. vocals now. Pop vocals, that's what I call them. Barbara Streisand, Lionel Richie, Kenny Rogers, all my favorite artists. K-Big's a lot more fun to listen to at work now. They play songs I can sing along with. No hard rock, no elevator music. K-Big plays the songs I grew up with, and a lot of new ones too. Just the good stuff. Move up to FM 104.3, the new KBIG. All pop vocals, all the time. Of course we have good deals on automobiles. Be wise. Call Sunrise. Dial 818-SUNRISE. This Tempo GL with automatic overdrive, air conditioning, power lock, tilt wheel, stereo, and more. Only $9,288. Not a stripped car. Check our ad in the Herald Examiner for other good buys. Dial Sunrise now. For great selection and affordable prices, be wise. Shop Sunrise. <laughs> For four generations, the people of Waipahu, Hawaii, have grown sugar cane for CNH. So when there's a special occasion, they all gather young and old to celebrate and enjoy the sweet rewards of over 80 years of working and living together. We hope you do too. Pure cane sugar from Hawaii, CNH. Line horror stories is our focus. Your question. But Tony, now you say you stopped. You don't do this anymore. 
now not, not you, like I used to. I I, oh. <laughs> I have. You're like dabble in it. Now. I have. What about five thousand? Yeah, once or twice, you know. Uh, you maybe check it with week. your old buddies. Yeah. Okay. Now, what made you do this? Did you seek help, or you just decided it was too much? It couldn't have been the money. I mean, if you have an addiction, which it really is. Why? Why? It's I still, quit or? Right. Did you seek any help for this? No. No. It, it was, was the money, from, or it was from sheer. It was just that I couldn't call. I had no way of calling. See, by the time that it was over, I was living on the streets. I had been evicted. I had lost my jobs. I lost all my friends. I was living on the streets in 40-degree wind chill below, below zero. Chicago gets chilly. Uh, this question is for Mr. Newsist. Right. Obviously, there is a lot of money being made here, very lucrative business. How is this money being... Uh what is being done with it, and let how me, are your let, employees being paid? Let me. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 you want a job? Is it? <laughs> got a great voice. Uh, I, let me modify the question, sure. if I may. I, I'm going to take the moderator's privilege here. On a call, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's say, what do you charge? Ninety-five cents a minute. Depends on the service. Let's uh, argument's sake, say ninety-five cents a minute. Sure. Uh, how much of that do you pay to the telephone company? Well, we have a contract with the telephone company to provide the billing for our services. And it varies by a different telephone company, but there's it's a wide variety. It depends on how many, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, oh, about a buck a bill, somewhere in that neighborhood. What do you mean a buck a bill? What is that? Well, a dollar a bill. We bill the telephone company bills us to render the billing for us. The, those calls are itemized on your. Well, so, well what about, your how much did your bill. company clear on Lester's six grand? Well. That's where we get into some of the differentiation between the different services. I represent my company's Media 4. I represent a service, a company that provides service under a 900-999 prefix, and only 900-999. Lester's referring to a different company, a local telephone company in his area that provides that service. No. Now, my service, the services that we provide are available to the general public, we do have the ability, as I stated earlier, to block those services, totally block them upon request. That is free of charge. We will do that for free. I have a question for Laurel. She says these monitors, after someone abuses it and talks on it so long, they'll cut them off. Why would they cut them off if that's how they make money? It's not necessarily a case of watching and seeing how long they've been on. We don't encourage people to stay on any longer than they can afford to. If people want to hang up, if you hear somebody say, well, I really got to get going, we don't say, oh, no, don't go, don't go. We don't do that. How do you get paid? Now, let's go back to her question. Uh, do you get paid on a commission basis? No, no, you're an hourly. Straight hourly. Okay. I wanted to ask Lester, you said uh, earlier about the guy who shot you and whatnot. Um, how hard is it to, to rid yourself of, that, of those people or of any connections that you've made? <laughs> well, for him, it was very easy because he moved out of state. But, Had to. Um, it's not very easy at all. Once they have your phone number and once they know your address and all this and that, these people will track they, you down, they, literally. They know you. I have you a know? question for Leslie. You yeah. say your program is in Chicago and Nebraska. Yeah. Have you considered taking it nationwide as far as an anonymous, like Alcoholics Anonymous? or? Yes, I want, I want mothers and fathers to talk to me, send me their bills, tell me about it, and I'll talk to their kids. I'll tell them what to do. Now, Jim says that his company has the ability to cut off access to these party lines at the request of the parents, I assume, right? Well, we, we not only do it at the request of the parents, but we do it, as I, as I stated earlier, at our own request. We set those artificial, those limits, and we cut them off when those limits are reached. Now, Leslie, do you feel that that is an adequate safeguard, or do you have something else? That's just him. That's not all the multitude of numbers that are out there. I mean, he could be the one good guy of, t of the talk lines. There are so many talk lines out there that are not responsible enough to even suggest something so like that. So what do we do about them? Hmm? What do we do about them? Well, I have, I saw, because of all the problems that I have with families and relatives, I searched all over the country and I found one manufacturer who makes a toll restrictor. And ever since I found them, I have been trying to sell it and find parents who need it. How do people find out about the toll restrictor? Through me, through distributors. And um, I know there's one very large... Is there one address we can give at the end of the program? Yeah. Okay, we will. So, parents, if you're concerned, get a pencil However, a piece of paper you, and we'll you, give it to you. When you, you block your line, you're not only blocking that party line, you're blocking your time and temperature that you might have been calling for two years to get that information. Yeah. You're blocking your wake-up service. You're blocking that sports line that you might have been calling to get your sports scores. No. So that's... Uh, not, not, no, no, not where's all the local restricted? numbers Let's you can call that aren't 900 numbers to mm -hmm. get that information? Yes, I have a question for Lester. Did, at the time when you started to call the party line, did they offer blocking? 
No, blocking wasn't available at that time until just recently they started it in Chicago. We've even, I, I know people who have asked to have the blocking put on their phone. In fact, uh, there was a, a mother and daughter who were, uh, uh, had a three thousand some dollar, uh, dollar phone bill, and the mother called the company, begging them, begging them to block it off of her phone. And I know they had the service available because I know they had other people who had it, and they wouldn't do it because she paid her three thousand dollar phone bill. That's why they wouldn't do it. I just have a question for Tony or Lester. Did any relationships ever surface from these thousand dollar phone calls? I mean, was it worth it? Mm, a few bad ones. Yeah, right. Well, not for me, though. Now, I, I did have one very good relationship. You met someone, and then you went and moved in with them on the street. No. <laughs> no, no, no. There are a lot of people we'll who got right a lot back. out of it. Velveeta versus butter. Which melts better? Velveeta was just made to melt. Velveeta versus cheddar. See how much more smoothly, more evenly Velveeta melts? Velveeta versus... Which melts better, more smoothly, more easily? Velveeta. Mmm. Velveeta really cooks. Now, in each specially marked box of Velveeta, get two exciting stickers from the new George Lucas movie, Willow. But hurry, they're going fast. If you think cavities aren't part of your child's future, think again. Experts say he'll probably have 12 of them by age 19. That's why there's extra strength aim. The first extra fluoride toothpaste. AIM, with the most fluoride. The only extra fluoride toothpaste accepted by the American Dental Association. The great taste of AIM. And the most fluoride. That's the strength of extra strength AIM. For transcripts, please send $3 to Journal Graphics, Geraldo Transcripts, 267 Broadway, New York, New York, 10007, or call 212-227-READ. Okay, in and out uses fresh ground beef, uh -huh. so it's never frozen. Oh, you use real cheese, fresh slices of tomato, hand leaf lettuce, <laughs> and every single in and out burger is made to order, I suppose. Sure is. <laughs> well, keep up the good work. Eat as many of these as you can before they find out what they're really worth. In and out, that's what a hamburger's all about. Coming Monday on Geraldo. From the Kentucky bus crash to the Illinois classroom shooting. Healing children from tragedy on the next Geraldo. Geraldo, Monday at 4 on the one and only 2. The California primary. On Monday, Channel 2 Action News will preview all the major candidates and the important issues. The primary preview, Monday at 7.30 on Channel 2 Action News. Southern California's real news leader. We built our law firm on cases that benefit society, like protecting the environment, suing those who defraud the government, fighting discrimination, assisting the homeless. We built Jacoby and Myers to help people too, but we do it in a different way. We help people one at a time. For example, a lot of people are going through a divorce, but we try to treat our clients as if they're the only ones who are. If there's a fraud against the government, I'd like to hear about it. But most legal problems are divorces or bankruptcies, and that's what Jacoby and Myers does. Gotta get away, gotta get away, gotta get away. Get away on a golden holiday. You can be pampered. Be impressed. Be relaxed. Be different. Be on your way to a golden holiday. Gotta get away on a golden holiday. See your travel agent or contact Malaysia Airlines. Two questions. One is for Lester. After getting like shot at, weren't you afraid to call back again? <laughs> um, well, that was a one-time experience that happened. Most... Weren't you afraid something would happen, like again, like some kind, so you could get mixed up again and something could happen to you? I guess I'll take that chance, though. Okay. You're brave. And that's, my, that's my that's other a... question is, oh, go ahead. Sorry. It's a common thing to get threats from people on the line. You know, life threats. Right, my other question is, you're saying these kids are calling. How old are these kids that are calling? 
for the mothers that I've got, their ages are from like 10 to 18. The yeah. thing is, there are well, so many, like, ten. lines that oh, I yeah, work on, are, we, have, right. we don't allow children on a line. It's the monitor's discretion. If they get somebody on the line who says, we say, you know, how old are you? 27? It's like, <laughs> really? What that's... year were you born? Even if they've got the answer right and the monitor thinks that they're young, they'll say, I'm sorry, I think you're too young to call this line. You'll have to hang up. And then up. they tell them to call the other line, the one that's no, for under 16. No, we never recommend another line. Okay. Is there never. a line for under 16? Yeah, there yeah. is. In there... Chicago, there is. Yeah, yeah at least, at media, least for, media for services have got, like I said, we have Robert, some Robert, do you advertise any lines for under 16s? Under 16? Um, come no, on, there. Come on, fess yeah. up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, Tempest Advertising will do everything possible to make sure that no one is fooled. That wasn't My, the question. I, I just want to make this statement. That wasn't the question. You can make the Within statement. Within the and confines the question first. of the four walls of any household, the mother should be able to tell their child what to do if there's a problem. I don't think it's the problem of the information provider. And now we'll go back to the question. Okay, okay. Under 16 which was really are there do you advertise for under 16 lines? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a question for Jim. Jim, you had mentioned that your company sets a threshold of three hundred dollars for adult calling. That's but correct. isn't that an awful lot of money to expect someone to pay a bill? And the second part of that question is, is your company opposed to blocking, which uh, FCC is trying to regulate right now? Is your company opposed to doing that? Well, we, when we set the limit, we set it at $300 per month, and, and we have not had any complaints as to the to level of that and cutting that off. Can this the second be part compounded? Of the, question, the second part of the question is, uh, was what are we, what's our policy on blocking? Media for Services, since day one, and we started up in Chicago, since the first day we had service available, we have been able to block our services from every telephone in the Chicago area. I gotta we do the same in New York. I'm bugged about that. Now, Robert, you advertise for these under 16 year old lines. I mean, do you ever get a twang, a twinge of conscience about that? I mean, do you ever get bothered about that? Uh, I'm in advertising. I'm not here to, to sell a conscience. I'm here to sell and deliver a product to anyone responsible enough. To respond to all those it. responsible 14 year olds i was very responsible under 16. Tony, and my parents i agree with him because i wish i was the one who would have thought of his idea so that i could have made the money that they're making right now wait a minute wait a minute free enterprise all right yeah. wait a minute Geraldo. how many people's lives wait. have been devastated because wait. of this though how many have how many people have gotten jobs no, these wait, we have gotten people jobs. I our like lives. entrepreneurs. I want people to start business in this country. But when you start taking advantage of the, vo the vulnerable teenagers who've got weak minds, who don't know what they're doing, you're wrong. You're taking advantage Tony. of teenagers. Teenagers aren't adults. They're not old enough to make decisions no like that. Hold it. Tony, Tony, you said that you weren't such a lonely person before you started this. If you can come so become so attached to these people you don't even know how do you become so detached to the people that you do know in everyday life it, it was because the people that I knew in everyday life were set in their lives they they had what they needed they could carry on their lives the people that I met off these lines although some of them were uh, regular workers some of them did have their lives together each one of them uh, not each one, but some of them seem to ha uh, need somebody, and I, f I felt as though I could help provide. I that. think the question is, how are you so bad in your real life and so good in your phone relationships? I mean, how? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never said I was bad in my real life, though. You know, it. it... Question for Laurel: As a monitor, you hear a lot of people, a lot of conversations. Are they generally good, bad? What do you think? Um, as a rule. They're good. Um, people have gotten, like I said, people have gotten jobs. We've gotten His contractors' spokesman, the jobs. The spokesman for the company says that they're getting some people are getting married. Uh, we have so. people, yeah, we have people who have met on also, the line Also, a girl who are had married. a birthday and is going on a, went on a hot air balloon ride. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Last Sunday, yeah. somebody yeah. got shot five times in the back of the head from meeting somebody. Ooh, in take a break, take a break. Yeah, that could happen walking down the street. Take Vaughn's everyday low prices, more buys, and unlimited double coupons, plus Vaughn's famous hot weekly specials, like family size bold laundry detergent, just $5.99. A 21 ounce can of Comet Cleanser, only 69 cents. And an 8 ounce jar of Folgers Instant Coffee, just $3.69. And you'll see why Vaughn's gives you the lowest take total in town. To nobody else but Vaughn's. When the developers threatened the beauty of San Diego, he stopped them. When secretaries Watt and Hodel wanted more of our coastline for oil drilling, he fought no. them. 
When Washington tried to take away our coastal protection, Pete Wilson said no. And without Pete Wilson, there would be no 1.7 million acres of California wilderness and wild rivers preserved for our children. Senator Pete Wilson, making a difference for California. Every furniture store in town claims low prices. So you look in the paper, and everybody's prices seem pretty much the same. Fact. There can only be one lowest price in town. And now Arby Furniture guarantees that our prices will be the lowest, even lower than other stores' sale prices. And Arby will sell you only quality furniture, made to order pieces, as well as name brand tables, chairs, dressers, and bedding. RB, the right furniture, the lowest prices. I told my brother-in-law, use Aquachem Chlorinizer. He says, don't worry. Okay, I say, but that granulated stuff like HTH or paste can leave an ugly ring. He says, don't worry. I say, use Aquachem or you'll get residue. He says, don't worry. Boy, look at this residue. <laughs> George, don't worry. Aquachem Chlorinizer. No calcium, no residue. It's pool care, pure and simple. Tired of counting the cracks on the sidewalk because you're out of work? Well, count on this. At the Watts Skill Center, we'll show you how to get the skills you need to get a good job. Anyone over 16 can enroll. You study at your own pace, on your own schedule, and classes are held year-round. You can even finish your high school education. The Watts Skill Center offers all this at a low fee of under $30. Enroll now. Call 213-564-4451. Get it together at the Watts Skill Center. Okay, before we're out of time, I want to give you this address we promised. Here it is. It's Stop Phone Abuse, P.O. Box 5717, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68505. That's Leslie Shower's address there if you want to get involved in that. Um, I want to quickly give my... I've been thinking about this, you know, and uh, the phones are not cocaine. And with all due respect to you guys, I, I know you would get And parental responsibility really does count a lot here. And, uh, you know, but regulation is also important. Jim, I'm going to give you 10 seconds for a closing statement. The, just want to point out the information providers at Media Force Supports do not uh, look for the minors to use these services. We do not look for that. We will block the services if it is requested. We do have the credit limit blocking. Leslie. I want to say to the parents out there who've got the bills, your kids are not doing this because they hate you. They love you and they don't want to charge all these hundreds and thousands of dollars on you. They have got a problem. They got a problem and they need help. Speak up and stand with them. With your kids. Okay, I want to thank you all. Party line phones, horror stories and other stories has been our focus. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time, folks. Services have been furnished to the Geraldo Show in exchange for these announcements. Hotel accommodations in New York City provided by the Omni Park Central in Mid-Manhattan, near Carnegie Hall, Central Park, and Broadway Theaters. Call 800-THE-OMNI or 212-484-3300. Transportation provided for by New York's most prestigious limousine service, where the service performed is truly personal. Esquire Limousine Service.